Yo guys, what's up? It's time for Z to A and the next hero in line is Yorick. We are going to be skipping Yone and Yatuo as I have already played them. I'm doing Z to A starting from the bottom and some people may have wondered why are you doing Z to A not A to Z like you did with Dota 2? True, but look at this. I sorted everything by champion mastery, in which case it puts all the heroes you've played before at the top. The ones you've played the most are here, and then the next most, and the next, etc. After you're done with all the heroes you've played before, then it starts with alphabetical, which in my case is, and I'm just checking because I've played Azir, Yone, Vi, Akali. Akali, I've never played before. So if I were an A to Z player, I would start here, which is four scrolls down from the top. And I would keep needing to find the first A hero, that is followed by another A, and an A, and then a B. Somewhere in the middle. I could save a lot of time if I didn't do this introduction. But I could save even more time if I start at Z to A, and I find the final hero that I haven't played before, knowing that they're going to be next. Now, I know Z is an exception, because I wasn't sure if I'm going to enjoy him, as he's a little complicated. But now I know, hey, it's Yorick next. But anyway, let's begin. Yorick, what have you got to offer for us? Yorick, Shepherd of Souls. The last survivor of a long forgotten religious order, Yorick is both blessed and cursed with power over the dead. Trapped on the Shadow Isles, his only companions are the rotting corpses and shrieking spirits that he gathers to him. Why? My question is, why? Why would you do that? He's, he's calling shrieking spirits to him. I usually wear noise cancelling headset when that happens in airplanes, kids and babies. Yorick's monstrous actions belie his noble purpose to free his home from the curse of the ruination. The Cursed Horde. Your hey, there's no, uh, there's no animation for the passive. The Cursed Horde. Yorick can summon Mistwalkers to swarm and attack nearby enemies. Yorick deals bonus damage on his next attack and heals himself. If the target dies, a grave will be dug. All right, deals bonus damage on... I'm trying to think, what is this like? Bonus, bonus damage on next attack, heals himself if the targets die. Okay, but these Mistwalkers are from his passive. If a target dies, a grave is dug, then what? He's gonna use the grave for something else, I presume. Oh, the graves can summon the Mistwalkers. Okay, Yorick summons a destructible wall at a target location that will block enemy movement. Okay. Uh, guys, guys, tell me, tell me, which wall is the best pay to win? Th there must be different wall animations. Oh, this one's cool. Pentakill Yorick. Is that guy holding a guitar? A guitar axe. You see how it kind of looks like the strings on a guitar? And she's got like a DJ something. Uh, Pentakill has a music video. Oh, the wall's kind of bad. Pentakill's a rock band. Oh, cool. I know we're kind of like halfway his abilities. Let's finish them first. Destructible wall. Yorick throws a globule of black mist that damages, slows, and marks enemies. Mm-hmm. Damage, slow, and mark. Okay, how does the mark get used? Yorick summons the Maiden of the Mist that causes Yorick's attacks against the Maiden's target to deal bonus damage. The Maiden will also automatically raise focus on... You know, without reading it in-game, I'm always left a bit flustered. Okay, Wherever it may let's see. Be. Let's look at his abilities. One more step toward domination. One more step toward the end. Okay, this is his wall. What's the range on it? All right. It's you, they see. Let's read everything again. So, Yorick raises a grave for enemies that die near him. Champions and large monsters always leave a grave. These mist graves can be used to summon Mistwalkers with Awakening and Eulogy of the Isles. Which is... Second cast of Q? Oh. When there are three or more graves nearby and this ability has already been used, Yorick can recast, which is called Awakening, <laughs> to raise Mistwalkers. From all nearby graves. Uh, eh, okay, sure. All right, all right. Yeah, we'll go lane and farm. I get it now. It's not too. 
If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Cool. Okay, so we throw a globule of black mist. Okay. I thought that was... Okay, there's, it's a pretty understated graphic effect, yeah? I thought it was gonna look bigger. But, pretty understated. You don't want to clutter things either. Throws a globule of black mist that deals 15% current health magic damage. So it's a good opener. And you slow them. They get marked. Marked enemies continuously awaken nearby graves. But not exceeding a max of 4. So that means that if they move... I wonder how... I wonder how often they awaken. I don't see no graves. Oh, awaken graves, right. You don't make graves by awakening them. You make graves by digging them. You awaken what's inside the grave by raising the dead. I get it now. Yeah, yeah. You can't you can't very well awaken a hole. <laughs> That'd be a bit weird. All right. So they continuously awaken nearby graves that are already there and they take increased damage from up to eight attacks by mist walkers yorick and his summoned units gain movement speed towards the mark mist walkers will leap once at marked enemies that get away from them okay uh this is blocks enemies path but not allies the wall can be attacked disappears after two hits Watch that's not squirm. that's pretty easy to break no two hits a lot of people can break that really fast. It's... Oh, it goes up. Oh yeah, two, three, four hits. But, uh... Is this a joke? Does one level do almost nothing? Yeah, just cooldown reduction. From level one to two, it's almost nothing. Two to three, it has one extra hit. And then from four to five, it has one extra hit. Hmm. Yeah, the cooldown does matter. It can be annoying in a one-on-one. -on -one. Sure. Everybody People aren't breaking it anyway. Why not? Yo, thanks for the sub. Juan El Piadoso. And uh, no kick nine. Cheers. When you cage late game and spawn minions, it's a nightmare to deal with. Okay. Looking forward to that. Water for the living. And then R. Shovel Yorick summons the, the Maiden of the Mist. Oh yeah, I've seen this gal. Nice music when you summon it. After 10 seconds, you can recast this ability to free the maiden, sending her down the nearest lane. Oh. Okay, there she goes. 3,300 health. Spawn a new target and E to it. Come back! Okay, so they switch target, they get a little exclamation mark. And is that global? No, it has a maximum range. What is the maximum range? Oh, whoa! Did you see that jump, guys? It's scary shit. Okay, so uh, we are a what? Jungler or top laner, I would ma imagine. Maybe top laner, I would say, actually, since he seems kind of split pushy. I, honestly, I don't know how I'm going to play the lane yet. And it actually hurts my head thinking about how it should play without first trying it out. But I, I don't exactly like to completely go in blind and forget what my abilities do when I go into the game as well. So how about <laughs> I ask chat well how does a lane look like how do i do team fights you need to last hit with q to create graves oh yeah if this attack kills the target it leaves a grave so i get some random graves and then i get extra graves for last strikes yeah and do not know it. that's a grave <laughs> there is no team fight with yorick <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Welcome back. You so it shows me the hidden cooldown of Q, right? I hey, there's a three out of four here. Rights. What does this mean? Oh, I have two of the 
Wait, no. What's one more grave? Oh, that's the amount of ghouls I have walking around. Laning played Yorick like a mage, spawning ghouls by last hitting with Q and then poking with E and ghoul jump. Yorick is a pretty uninteractive champ most of the time. Team fight, I have a team. <laughs> you activate W to spawn four ghouls. Uh, you, mi you mistake W, right? You activate Q to spawn four ghouls, then you send your minion on the opponent and trap them with W. Yorick is a side lane stat checker that sucks at team fighting. I will what is a stat checker? I will not end you. Eat him, Grubby! Yeah. I must dig. So this shows when my first Q comes up again. And the duration during which I can still summon zombies. All right, let's begin. I queued up. I'm top lane. I didn't choose my rune page. Just went with a standard Conqueror Resolve. I decided to go with Flash and Ignite. I'm against Yasuo. Junglers Ivern and Briar. I think it's fine. I once had Let me see. I have got Lethality. Lifesteal, health regen, omnivamp, tenacity. Yeah, so it's all just sustain and defense. I'll just take Doran's shield because I don't think I'm gonna hit him as much as he's gonna hit me, most likely. No TP, Yorick. Yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking probably teleport might be the best, but I wanted to play uh, Ignite so that I can. Ignite one of them and then send skeletons after them. I thought that might be nice. Yet die they will. Gotta learn. Uh, good to learn when to use ignite. Well, probably after I send a bunch of skeletons on people, I would imagine. Now I have stout shield. It's Doran's shield, actually. Uh, and it heals more when you're low health. And I recently saw in the tip that uh, using health potion when you're low allows you to use that higher regeneration rate more than if you try to keep yourself topped off, but you never dip into that extra regen. So if you think you can survive long enough to use it later, then all the better. Now let's start thinking about what I will get first. Probably Black Cleaver and Played It. Plated caps. Act on their own. Supposedly, Black Cleaver auto attacks apply to uh, the zombies. Our souls are a small price to pay to cleanse this land. So, I'm making zombies. Uh, I'm making graves. Of course, I don't know how to trade against Yasuo, and he's a level higher as well. Pushed on the tower already. The hole I dig, it is for you. Didn't get a lot of CS because I let that happen. Oops. I go wherever so. Actually, pushing the wave doesn't sound that bad right now either. I could just go for another point in Q and not get W yet. So I I see that. Um, the turn from blessed to Oops. I see that my regen did go up when I was really low. So I'm just kind of observing that for the first time. Obviously not the best CS. I, am the first I think he went back. Last of my order. Feels like he went back pretty early. I don't know if people can use mobility spells to get out of... Uh, 
to get out of the wall. Can can people use jumps? What I do is just every horrid piece of it. Oops. There goes my uh, gank, completely failed by me. Because I miss my E. <laughs> I have no W. <laughs> I didn't expect a uh, jungle gank. Feels good, man. He dodged. It hurts to remember. So now I'm using my heal. Just getting bullied here. I'm gonna miss a whole wave to E him. Yeah, I missed all my E's. I have money now for more. Hallbreaker, every fifth basic attack against champions and epic monsters deals bonus physical damage. I'm not hitting him at all. Uh oh, hello. Paradise. Now they're a prison. Oh damn it! They're in the kill range. You decay and do not Man. know it. And I still don't have W because <laughs> I went two two. <laughs> Three two. Oops. Oh sh! What? The ah! I thought it was. I thought it was gonna. It actually goes right where you click, right? I thought it was gonna go like. From my body, I know it didn't. Oh, oops. The Isles remember. I'm gonna hit my first E now. Yeah, go get him, Zombers. Okay, I should have been doing that for a while. One more step toward the end. Okay. The bells toll. I still no W. Uh, summon the maiden. Summon extra mist walkers. When Yorick damages maiden target, he will do extra damage, which is cool. Uh, when Yorick damages the maiden's target, he will deal three percent max health magic damage. This effect has a cooldown. After ten seconds, you can recast it to free her. I think you probably don't want to do that. Of life do, do it. Me. When someone chases you, you turn to A and Q every time and trade. Don't get bullied. Yeah, I was just getting bullied. Oh yeah, the red border F9. I should disable that hotkey. Death is not always a release. I don't have W. <laughs> he probably loves that. I shall perform your rights. Go get him. Huh. It's doing a lot of CS for me, the ulti. Everyone That's convenient. How are things with you? Uh, why is she tanking the tower? Stupid thing. Yo, I have it, I have it. <laughs> oh man, it's so good to play low rank. This is MMR heaven. This is so good. Everything I did, what he just did, it's just wonderful. You never get this experience again.
material items for the material world. I'll just take another one of them swords. Them swords seems good. And then we'll save up for the armored boots. The berserk knight. Uh, this one, plated steel caps. This MMR's eye bleach. I know, it's so good, right? But for the waters, the mist will take me. You just have to embrace these moments, guys. Your own badness, allies, enemies. Because you'll you'll never get it back. Before you know it, you'll grow up and you'll be so pro. And you'll become jaded because now you recognize your allies being noob and all that. This is wonderful. In case I never make it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna summon the zombies. Just summon it and push the lane. I miss CS, Sombers got it. Nice. Flesh that will soon find Earth. Uh Tiamat is inactive. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I got that uh, siege breaker thing. I used it, guys. I used my active. Yasuo gave up in the lane. He realized the extent of my skill. I must dig. Well, it's very uh, repeatable. This horde consumes all. Did I miss? How did I miss? Well, stop it! <laughs> Don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> Did my ult get cast or not? Where is it? Where is she? What the f- Wait, does it die if you I die? Why did I stop? I wanted to summon. I don't know how many dashes he had. I thought I can go summon the the girl. Oh, didn't finish cast. Oh, I still have my cooldown. Okay. I've come I, if I keep running, I win. Yeah, I know. Dead. So sad, right? Red is I thought. I thought if I um. I thought maybe I'll die because I don't know how many dashes he has, and then at least I'll have my ult pushing down the lane. He can only dash through enemies. Damn. Great wave state though. Yeah, we're fine. I mean, we, we missed a bit. I'll just summon it now. I don't see any point waiting. Oh, this is such a great noob hero. Not that I'm a noob, but... Hey, she's following me. Early surrender? What do you mean? I'm winning. This mist has become Two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Don't you join me? Look at him acting all fancy. I forgot Tiamat. You can micro the maiden? How? They're diving me. Huh. Nice stride, buddy. What the hell was that? Walk once more. Wait, we have splash damage. Did you see that? From what? Ours is a fate worse than death. Uh. 
Tiamat gives Cleave, but it doesn't say it does, right? The dead oh wait, it does. Hear you. Cleave. Oh, it no says under the you cry. percentage. It's, it says that like on the right. Oh, and it says on the left. But it doesn't say... It only says it twice. Damn it! Oh, I forgot Tiamat too. <laughs> it only says it twice. Oh, <laughs> oh, I get it now. That's the passive component. Okay. It says it only twice, li twice literally, and once metaphorically. But that's it. Well, I feel like I'm so smart today. I should try to solve some crossword puzzles. Can you change the BGM to Old Summoner's Rift in settings? I don't know. Can I? I don't think so. Your team has destroyed a turret. I just changed the classic. Never tried this before. I'll mourn for you. An ally has been slain. An oh, the Titanic slain. Hydra applies to uh we are to your next attack, we like when I tried Zoe. So how are we doing the other lanes? We're doing fine. Yazo, Yazo. <laughs> There's two Yazos. I wonder why one of my allies was like, let's uh, surrender. Bizarre. So she kind of follows me. Your end is nigh. <laughs> What's one more grave? Just kidding. I just released her, but she's dead. It was just a prank. How likely are they to respond? One, two, three. Two max. So I'm probably not gonna die. It's good to see. They reach. I need to get the hell out. One more, one more creep. Oops. Tower Q using extra damage. Yes. Life is but a Maybe I should go mid. Look, there's a whole wave mid. An enemy has been slain. Cool, they got Jinx. By the way, good news. My client finally remembers. It finally re oh wow big I was like it finally remembers to keep using champion names. Who's mid now? I shall perform your rights. Help. Oh. I, uh, uh, I'm dead. Oh, and I lost the turret. She jumped right on top of me. Briar, which is their jungler. Roaming with mid was not it. It felt really good until I died. I think I just overstayed. Mm. 
Bonus damage against structures. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Will we end? Okay, I'm staying top now until the end of the game. Maybe if I committed to fighting? Yeah. Hello, friends. I wonder what the actual value... No, what the... F I wonder what the actual value was of going mid. Because I push out, I get gold. But then I lost tower. It was not good. Could I have done like one wave mid and then go top? Still One safe tower. Stand yeah. to the grave too long. Join me, brother. Why is the one active so satisfying? Yeah, it is. Only one is showing. Hide my zombies. On two, three, four. See the maiden. She comes to you. I'm releasing her into the lane. Or at least I think I did. of these eyes rise to sleep. Huh. Okay, now I'm gonna do a jungle camp and then continue. I continue pushing. I Wait till they leave and get bored dealing with this push. One, two. What's up? Hextech? They should take Hextech so I can push again. I need my team to be the bait. Take the Hextech so I can push top. <laughs> I said I'm gonna stay top, but I'm breaking my promise. To life by the thread. That's it, that's it. That, that's all I'll do. That's, that's it, I'm gone. One more one more wave, one more wave. Here, here we go, here we go. This is it. I thank you for your service. Okay, I'm gone. I'm gone. That's it. That's how long I should have stayed before and it would have worked. That's literally what I should have done. And, uh, and, and I'm out. Boom. Uh, by the way, I have a decent amount of gold. Uh, there were moments where I could have gone back. I am uh, same level as Yazoo. Okay. I feel like this route that I took took more time than, uh, than if I just poured it, used my gold. I will return and actually walked here. Okay, now I'm out. Okay, he's here. Why did he stay? Okay. Yasuo versus Yasuo! But my Yasuo is not ignited! And this is... That was bad. Okay, we got Hullbreaker. Um, bonus damage. The claws that catch. And get a shield if we're about to die. That seems okay, but let's take a look at some other options. Hex Drinker. Heartbound Axe. Phage. Tunneler. Wait, these are all... Mm. Are we looking for a singular legendary item? No, you can have more legendary items, right? Can't you have multiple? It's not like that anymore, where you can only have one of something, right? A fleeting... Thornmail for Briar, okay. It pulses with life. There's no more restrictions like that, correct? Okay. Legendary just means completed now. Mm. I see. We got uh, Harold. I do not live in hope. 
It feels kind of like Yorick is a bit like murky in hops, and that people don't feel like dealing with that much. But that's of course only partially true because you Yazuo did just deal with me. But I don't know if that's just like a top laner thing in general. People don't enjoy it as much as the team fight. Why release Maiden? I carry Did I? These souls to their end, now I released it, no? It may be. You said why release Maiden, but I just did. <laughs> you said it. Draw out. <laughs> Well, that was close. Dude, look at this! Look at this split pusher! Right in front of my team! Jinx almost killed herself on the Thornmill. Yeah, I saw that. And I don't even have the upgraded version yet. Just Bramble Vest. Maybe go bot. There are also a lot of towers there. True. Do they get all of those or is there like anti ping protection spam? The shock of resurrection quickly passes. Yeah, yeah, I'm going bot and then they can do Baron. Your jungler's AFK. Mm, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We are higher level than them. We are super ahead. It's super free now. Respect to the dying. I must dig. Maybe I'll even team fight with team once. But not until all towers are dead. For you. No, never. <laughs> Look, we're losing towers. It's not great, but they did kill Pike. I will not damn you. I will end you. Some of these pieces I know well. Wow, insane damage. But they're coming for me. Mortar crumble. Briar. <gasps> I'm a lot. I'm two levels higher. She shouldn't be able to do anything. They're really letting Yasuo just kill every tower. It's because they don't keep the waves pushed out enough. Armor penetration? I don't really need that. Move speed while taking magic damage. Sure. All things fade. You can solo baron with the ult? Really? Let's try. I shall perform your rights. That's your job? Not both waves. I can't teleport from top to bot. Yazu already pulled this trick twice now. Enemy is stopping me, but where is my team stopping him? Like now, for instance, I would have to leave top and uh... Yours will be the largest Let's test that theory. We are not we Everyone on the enemy team is missing. Go. I'm most likely giving enemy Baron. Classic. And my team is hugging base. It was just a trick. I gave Baron to them, and now I'm gonna go for their base. I mean, my team had plenty of time to react. They're still hugging base. I'm not gonna contest it alone. A bike is in base. I'm gonna base race. It's crazy that they're all just hugging base.
But they're just as bad as me, I guess. I do not know. Thank you for Leash, yeah. Beyond. Nobody reacted on team. What can you do? I still had a Titanic Hydra. They only won the 4v1 because they had Baron buff. Man. I don't know why they didn't come for Baron. I took it. You guys were right though. I was able to kill the Baron completely alone with ulti easily. You're missing a player. I know, but like... Look, if I was one of these chumps, and I'm a chump too, right? And I'm hugging base. And the Baron goes half-life. You see one guy come, con come contest. You go. Face the crowd. Together. Oh yeah, split push again. Revived by the tears of life. I push bot. I have to push bot. To quickly push one more way and then i have to go fight or something i am to marry you my first team fight with team go for pike at the inhibitor My Yasuo died, it's probably over. Maybe I picked the wrong fight. of nature don't bury me with it uh, do we just push mid now or should i push out top or i think i still need to push out the side lanes or they will just back door right why force wait by the way do i still i still have the maiden that's why the dirge is going on the music uh, i went force of nature because uh i want to make one autonomous decision this game I was like, that could be cool. Okay, let's join team. My ulti died. We're all back. <laughs> okay, it's over. Double kill. Oh no, the back door, the back door. Is he? Can he finish faster? Level twelve, bye. Your inhibitor has been destroyed. Come on, guys, Your quickly. I must dig. Oh no, he's winning. Or is he? Yeah! 
Noobs, noobs, I do that for you so bad. What the fuck? Nothing personal, GG. And now it is time to open up the comment from before the game. Grubby will go 010 XD. IGN Jet Senpai. Any last words before the permanent ban? Don't ban me, please. And then that shall be on your epitaph. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna ban. I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm always gonna be saying GG to Lux. Best voice lines. We're in this together. All right, we won, guys. Uh, rate my play for a first timer. Ten out of ten. Eight, six, six out of nine. A plus. Wait, is it? Is it actually? <laughs> Rito already did. Grouped with t team twice, so negative minus two points. You miss E too much. It's easier to count the times I hit them than the times I miss them. So let's think of this positively. We think of hits, which was two times. We missed 30 times. You didn't stay on top enough. Yeah, sorry. There's so few bushes to hide in League. Like the whole split bush thing feels like... Uh, it feels like either a suicide run or look here's how here's how it is right here's how i see it in heroes of the storm you've got some maps that have really deep lanes like towers of doom top lane uh if you are too far into the lane and you get ganked and you're a slow mother trucker that has no mobility or speed or even if you're just slightly slower than your lane opponent he will hit you all the way back to base like you're running away from a disturbed hornet nest and you're gonna get hurt, right? So either you're faster or you're slower. So I'm playing a hero like this. I'm thinking I need some movement speed. There's nowhere to hide. You've got like three bushes in the top left of the map. And then you got the little triangle, this and that. But there's almost nothing. It's just like this really sterile lane all the way back uh, to my own tower. So either I'm on a suicide run or I try to utilize 5% of this gray mass in here and I try to look at the minimap and then I push as much as I think is permissible and then I just kind of fall back a bit deeper in the lane, I guess. When you split push, you threaten the other team and they will send more people to kill you and your team get objectives. Right, but that's the noble suicide. But what about... What about like hiding? In Dota 2, there's like 180 places to hide when you're split pushing. You also watch the minimap and see where they are. Same thing as in Dota 2, right? But here, I've got like three places to hide. And they're really far away. In Dota 2, there's like 180 places. You're not supposed to suicide when pressuring, no. Yeah, that's what I'm... That's what I'm struggling with sometimes. Like, is this... Is this like Frodo mindset or Sam mindset? Frodo didn't think they're gonna return. But Sam was saving food for the way back. Am I Frodo or Sam? That's what I'm not sure about sometimes yet. You don't have to hide. You just need to dodge their skill shots and yours to stall them. Okay, don't get hit and keep running. I watched a bit of uh, Tyler Urgot and he was as a top laner, sometimes top, sometimes bot. Somehow he kept staying highest level on his team, even though he died sometimes and he didn't seem to mind too much. And then later he killed them all. And uh, to be honest, I wasn't really sure why enemy wouldn't group up, take him down or something. But like, he obviously he knows what he's doing. Right. 
far as I can see, split pushing is just suicide 90% of the time you die pushing. That's what it feels like to me, but that's like a noob's way of thinking, right? The whole point of Yorick is that you are unbeatable 1v1 with your ult up, because you're technically 2v1. Huh. Because he, he knows how to play a vision game, looks at map. Yeah. Did I enjoy Yorick? Um, he feels a little bit like Murky and Leoric in Heroes of the Storm. And a bit like Race King in uh, Dota 2. In that you can just keep split pushing and you are generally kind of worse in a team fight. Right, so feels like one of those those are pretty chill tilt champs to play like if i'm tilted from playing like teamwork heroes this would be my turn my brain off and go play so i don't think it's my favorite but he is pretty simple and i like simplicity and uh of course i didn't show a great performance who cares right but i get him a lot better now i learned about yorick i think yeah, you just play a macro game. You just kind of play a macro game. I like him, but I, I would say I place him in the middle. I neither love him nor hate him. You can micro main him with alt click. Really? Oh, can you? I don't think so. Feels really weird that I can't really micro the maiden. I either... It either kind of follows me like a Heroes of the Storm bot. Like when one of your allies disconnects in HOTS, you can ping them on you, the bot, and then it kind of follows you and kind of does malicious compliance feeding. That's what it feels like. It stays with me, but it feeds on the tower first chance it gets. Even Abathur's Monstrosity, which is a player controlled unit, can be better controlled. It feels a lot like Abathur Monstrosity from HOTS, but you can still send them places by pressing R again. You just press R and then it goes there, and then it starts auto attacking again. Then you press R, it goes there, and it just starts running down a lane. So it's like a worse controlled version of Monstrosity. And as an RTS player, I like to have the control over the unit. I don't really have it here, so I don't really like that part about it too much. E controls the Maiden. Yeah, but you have to hit a monster or player, right? You are incorrect. Micro is possible, but it's esoteric. I kind of know what esoteric means, but in order to evaluate your SO, I need to look it up. Intended for or likely to be understood by only a small number of people with a specialized knowledge or interest. I don't remember saying micro is impossible, by the way. So. You are incorrect, micro is possible. Seems a contradiction to another person. But you're saying it's like Rick and Morty. Only a small amount of people appreciate the skill set and brain to appreciate how to micro in League. The hardest to micro game that there is. Whereas I was just saying I would enjoy full manual control over my ult. That's what I was saying. But uh, yeah, okay. Cool. So, that was Yorick. Onwards to, and I don't know how to say it, Jin Zhao. Jin Zhao. Let's go.